Let's talk Buffalo Bills. Uh, hey, Stephon Diggs. That's kind of nice. Gotta love it. You know we're talking where the money's coming from. Well, I don't. I don't know. Well, there's, there's a lot of questions about money and the bills. We'll get to in a minute. But let's first start with the chemistry. I think in the last segment we talked a little bit about that. Stefan Diggs is really the glue of that team. And now a lot of people love Josh Allen and see the leadership. Remember, he's still growing into that leadership role. One of the guys who's been a professional came here, wanted to win, got better, got the bills a little bit better, and amped up that team with Stefan Diggs. Now. $104 million, 70, which guaranteed, that's a pretty big deal for a wide receiver, but it's a four-year deal, and this is the window. Let's not, let me get yeah. any mistakes about this. All the chips are right at the center here for the Buffalo Bills for the next three years. What strikes me is that the Kansas City Chiefs the week before trade Tyreek Hill to get five draft picks. You know, I think if you look at it objectively, KC made a, a great deal for themselves with a guy they could only keep for probably one more year. They have have cachet with their fans because they won a Super Bowl. I see the, the Chiefs, the Rams, the Buccaneers, maybe still the Patriots can make a deal like this. The Bills could not trade Stephon Diggs because you got to win first. No doubt. You can't lose a player of that magnitude, you know, not to mention what he brings in the clubhouse, but obviously what he brings on the field. I mean, you know, um, his production, it, it's not something at this point that the Bills – fan base could handle but certainly the team you know there's a there's a lot to uh winning and and a championship pedigree and it's you know there's such a fine line and the difference between being second place and being the champion and and you a lot of people can get to the dance and not everybody can finish it and so until you do yeah, you. I agree. Bills are all in. They have to keep their best pieces. It would have been, you know, it would have been a, almost a complete start over if you lose a player of uh, Stefan Diggs. One of the interesting things too, you were talking to about baseball. This will be an interesting year for the Bills. New offensive coordinator, sort of an, a, a new understanding of this has got to be it right now. Yeah. We've been to the AFC Championship game. We've been to you know close to the AFC Championship game. They changed the overtime rule. There's no excuses now. Like this is the a Josh lot. Allen yeah, rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is. <laughs> This is okay, all right, we changed the overtime rule, all right, we've been able to get to this game. We faced Kansas City twice, we lost to them. This is this is all of it right now, a three-year window for the Bills. I hate, to, I hate to say this, but you don't get too many chances at this. I mean, you get a championship in the next few years, opening that new building, people are not going to care that they paid for it. Yeah, okay, so that's 2026, and we didn't get a chance to talk last week about... The new state. Is, is there any lingering guilt about the amount of public money that's going into oh, this thing? Gotta As be, a sports fan. There's got to be. I mean, you were talking, what, $850 million? Which is the most. And then Erie County throws in another two point two hundred fifty million million, and it's, well, the Pagulas have so much money. Jerry Jones did it a different way with his own money. Like, there's this often feeling of... Uh, this, this sure is a lot of money. We've never spent this much before. We've never seen this much before. Now, if you see the plans for it, that stadium looks beautiful. <laughs> like, that's a beautiful stadium. And I've run across some fans that kind of wanted a dome. I don't think that really fits Western New York. But it, but this stadium money issue is going to be something for a while, especially if they can't hit a championship. You know, there is one saving grace. There's a line in there, Greg, that about uh, if there's a cost overrun that the bill's going to foot it. So at least it's a it's a static amount of public money. That, yeah, I mean that's I guess an easier pill to swallow. But I think a lot of it is just simply they knew that the that Western New York did not want to lose this team, and they knew that they really had them over the barrel. They could get as much as they could, and I think they went right to the limit to do it. And but Bills will stay. We'll have a great stadium, and hopefully we'll have a championship. I don't want to rush to it. You know, twenty twenty six. It's it's not that far away. It's going to go fast, especially if there's a couple of titles mixed in. I hope the economy is going better. <laughs> And I hope that the season ticket holders don't get tagged too much for this one on top. Right, here it's only about a thousand dollars for yeah. some of the better seats. That's comparatively in the NFL, the personal seat license we're talking Which about. Which is also the price of gas right now. <laughs> <laughs>